Well, the White House delaying yet another part of Obamacare, saying, quote, if the consumer believes the plan options available in the marketplace in their area are more expensive than their canceled health insurance policy, they will be eligible for catastrophic coverage through a hardship exemption, end quote. But will this Hail Mary tactic even work? Peter Johnson Jr. is here to wait in on that. I, I believe in praying to the Virgin Mary, but it's not <laughs> enough on, on this particular uh, issue. And what it exposes is the latest crack in Obamacare, this kind of Christmas crisis now. They're saying, oh, now you can use this exemption. You're having this emergency. But you know what's happened, Elizabeth? The insurance company has gone nuts. Of As course. a result of it, they said, you're going to make this uh, industry unstable. You're confusing everyone. And what you're doing is putting a, uh, a stake through the heart of Obamacare. Because you're saying these five million people, the White House says only 500,000. We'll see what the real number is. Uh, you don't have to comply with the individual mandate. You can get a so-called catastrophic coverage policy, which is 20 percent less. And it has less coverage. So there's more uh, co-payments and more actual payments uh, by the insured. Sure, absolutely. And, and those with catastrophic insurance typically get it because they're, they're not unhealthy. They don't think anything's going to happen to them. And that's why the insurance they're companies taking are a bet. spinning. They're saying based on age, based on health, I don't need um, to do it. Uh, now, a lot of Democrats we were talking about before, they said, you know, I'm up for re-election. I better get behind this thing. They've written to Sebelius. They've written to the White House. They say, we've got to change this. We don't want to get these letters, these emails, these terrible stories on the evening news about what's happening to our constituents in this country, that they can't afford it. They can't get online. They can't find the coverage. No. They can't find coverage that matches what they had or no. what they need. And they may not indeed have it as of January right, right now because all the paperwork has to be filed. Look at all the delay of games so far here. We've got a a bunch of penalties here. October 2011, they scrapped the long-term care insurance program of April 20, and then April 2013, the plans for small business insurance were delayed, right? And then and, there were more. And then in this year, the employer mandate was delayed in July, and then in, in last month, the small business marketplace has been delayed. So they've missed about four different milestones, four different deadlines. I predict what's going to happen here is that more Americans are going to see these general guidelines, these exemptions, these emergency exemptions, and they're going to say, I don't have to do Obamacare in 2014 based on the exemptions that have been published by Health and Human Services and now the White House. If you look carefully at these exemptions, I guarantee you that lawyers, um, that people that are looking at carefully are going to say, oh, I don't think you need to comply with this based on the financial circumstances or emergency uh, situation that you are facing. So more and more, a lot of Americans are going to be standing up based on this ruling yesterday and saying, no, I have an emergency. I deserve an exemption. The individual mandate does not apply to me. So they've started this slippery slope in order to cure the lie that was Obamacare at the beginning, that you could keep your doctor, that you could keep your health plan. So little by little is saying, let's satisfy this group. Let's shut them down. Let's quiet them down. And what they've done, as I said at the beginning, is put a stake through the heart of the principle that allegedly was at the basis of, of Obamacare. So they are scrambling. President getting ready to go to Hawaii for a two-week vacation. No Obamacare advisor will be accompanying him because they say because of the time difference between Washington and Hawaii. So he'll be vacationing and the people in Washington will be trying to figure with, this out. With all of these game changes and the hardship e exemption, the ir irony there is that that hardship is Obamacare. Unfortunately. Peter Johnson Jr. Good to see you. PJ2, I'll call you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh.